and away they go. Corniche flew out the outside gate and goes straight to the lead. Dancing Rink is very fast. Handy Dandy right there, third Apprehend coming through at the rail. War at Seas in the black cap up alongside Breakfast Ride. Cover me up, trotting to race a little awkwardly. Doesn't like that dirt in her face. On the far side, we have Conk Daddy. In behind that is Quality Wins, and last of all, Mr. Mason. Into the turn they go, and Corniche just gliding along on the lead. Corniche striding away now, opening up to lead by three. Dancing Rink is second, Apprehend down at the rail. On the far side, we have Breakfast Ride. War at Sea is now six off the leaders, then Quality Wins. They turn for home, and Corniche still going very comfortably out here. Mike Smith just sitting on Corniche now. Clear by three lengths as they come for home. Corniche in front now starting to make a late run as apprehend at the rail, but Corniche just gets the reins thrown at him. Very, very impressive debut. Could not have been more impressive. Corniche and Mike Smith cantering home. Apprehend second, war at sea third, and then breakfast ride. And they're off in the American Pharaoh. Joker boys stumbled pretty badly. Corniche comes out smoothly, Rockefeller right up alongside, and Flying Drummer. The Baffert Trio, one, two, three, into the first turn with Papa Cap three wide and going after them. Joker Boy is next, followed by Phineas, and Obiak Class has six lengths to make up. Mike Smith has heavily favored Corniche, in control early. Opens up a length and a half on Rockefeller in second. Then Papa Cap, Flying Drummer tucked in at the rail in fourth, about two and a half lengths off the speed. Joker Boy is next, followed by Phineas, and another four to an unhurried Oviak class. Past the five-eighths they go, chasing Corniche, cruising along by a length and a half to Rockefeller. Papa Cap in third. Flying Drummer has lost just a touch of ground. He's four lengths off his stablemate. Then comes Joker Boy, Phineas, and still a good distance to Oviak class. Coming to the three-eighths, Corniche, three quarters of a length. Rockefeller trying to move in from second. Two more to Papa Cap, who's been third. Phineas running a good race on the outside of Flying Drummer, taking fourth. Another two and a half back to Joker Boy and Oviak Class. Past the quarter pole and turning for home. Corniche trying to fend off Rockefeller, and he's done it. Corniche turns for home, full of run, opens up three. Papa Cap now takes up the chase into second, trying to close in on Corniche. Coming to the 16th, and it's Corniche breezing through the stretch. He's the real deal. Corniche takes him coast to coast in the American Pharaoh. Wins it by three. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Corniche had a very good start from that far outside post, and he will go to the front with stablemate Barossa, and then pop a cap on the inside. They're being followed in between horses by Pinehurst as they make their way into that first turn. Command performance is very wide there, caught four wide into that turn. And then it's giant game, tough to tame, a five-length gap back to Double Thunder, who races just to the outside of Oviat Class, who's down toward the rail. At the back of the pack for American Sanctuary and Japan's Jasper Grape. So the opening quarter mile was 23.03 seconds, and Corniche is able to make the lead from that far outside post, and he's in front by a length, with Pinehurst running along in second position. Then command performance in third, Papa Cap comes through an opening on the inside. Then Barossa. Giant game has four lengths to make up as they continue their journey up the back stretch through a 46.15 half mile. The pace is hot, and then it's tough to tame. Followed by Jasper Gray, who's about eight lengths off the lead. Double Thunder is next. American Sanctuary and Oviat Class. Corniche heads for the far turn in front. He's got a two length lead on command performance. Pinehurst is in between horses. Papa Cap is down at the rail. Giant game is sent up four wide, midway on the far turn. After that, it's Double Thunder and Barossa. Corniche coming to the top of the stretch with the lead in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. A giant game is closing on the outside. Now moving up right alongside of Corniche as they come to the final furlong. Corniche with something left. Giant game off the rail. Papa Cap trying to split those two, but it's Corniche. He's just too good. Corniche wins the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And then it was Papa Cap in second. Giant game was third. Command performance fourth.